Hello, lovely internet strangers. It's been a while. I know. I'm sorry I've been gone. I had switched jobs and I thought that this job was going to give me more time to work on my personal projects and it actually turned out to give me less time to work on my personal projects. However, I now find myself in an interesting position because my organization underwent restructuring and my position was eliminated. I have plenty of savings to hold me over in the meantime. Plus, I have my husband. Yes, my husband. Since the last time I made a video, I got married. The marriage is going great. I mean, not much has changed. I didn't take his name. We spent very little money on it. We eloped. We told no one but our immediate family until right after it happened so we could equally include no one in the occasion. We may have a party later on at some point, but for now, this is how we wanted to do it. Now, just because I have not been putting out videos does not mean I have not been thinking about the channel, working on various scripts, thinking about where I want this channel to go. The last video that I posted was a video talking about social justice feminists, opposition to Game of Thrones, my house misogynistic, etc. And that was a really fun video for me to make, but one of my viewers who frequently comments said they were disappointed or this wasn't quite what they expected. I really took that to heart. Not to say that I'm necessarily going to, you know, dictate everything I do on this channel based on what one comment or another says, but, you know, I have so few subscribers and I want to be making content that people want to see and would find interesting and valuable. So I want to talk a little bit about where I want this channel to go over the next few months anyway. Not going to say that I'll never do a, oh my god, look at these SJWs videos, because those are always fun, but basically I want to focus most on my anti-feminist diaries series. So the next video I put up will be the fourth episode of the Anti-Feminist Diaries. I'm finally going to talk about getting dumped by my black feminist friend. I have a whole series of topics for further anti-feminist diaries and just more story times about being an anti-feminist libertarian who runs in these kind of circles that are a lot more populated by radical leftists and social justice types, like the social dance scene, like the polyamorous dating scene. In addition to those types of personal story videos, I also want to do book reviews. There are a few books that I've already read that I'd like to do reviews of. I have a couple of examples. So The Moral Case for Fossil Fuels by Alex Epstein great read. What I thought I would do for these types of reviews is do a very basic what the main message and arguments of the book are, what I think of those arguments, how this book affected me, you know, did I like it, did I not like it, who do I think the target audience is, you know, who do I think should read it, and do a buy, borrow, bypass, something that they do in the book world, but essentially saying do I think you need to buy this book, is it good, but you know, you can borrow it, or don't bother, just finish watching this review and you can move on with your life. And then for certain books, I might do a more in-depth second video about the topics or how some of these topics in the book, you know, how I personally experienced them or how they made me think of something else, like something else that I want to talk about more in-depth. And one of those books would be Illiberal Reformers, which you can see is a very well-loved copy that I have here because I spent a lot of time reading this book. This book like changed my life. So I'd want to do a regular kind of review of it, but then a lot of people don't know about the origins of the progressive movement. And this book goes into it in a really slim volume actually, but it's so densely packed with information, you know, all these names of people and think tanks and he uses primary source documents. So it's not like he's just speculating on what these people thought or what they were doing because he's, you know, using their actual writings, etc. It's really, really fascinating. That's a book I wanted to do videos on for a while, and I think it's finally time to make it a priority. A book that I have not yet read but would like to do a review on, Panic Attack by Robbie Soav. I know that it's like this overview of everything that's been going on, you know, with the college campuses, social justice types, you know, internet memes, etc. And I'm always interested to see how people put this into book form. And then I have this project I set for myself with no real time limit on it. I want to read most of the books in the feminist canon and also most of the books in the anti-feminist canon 
that I have defined for myself. And I made a list of all of these books and I just want to start reading through them and taking notes, become a anti-feminist feminist scholar, but also to read all of the anti-feminist literature, whether it's explicitly anti-feminist or it's alternative to feminism or anything that's commenting on gender, sexuality, etc., etc., that's not within a feminist frame or is just alternative to mainstream feminism at any given time. For example, something I have on the list is Sexual Personae by Camille Paglia. I am really looking forward to digging into this tome. I love Camille Paglia. I went crazy at Powell's several months ago and just bought like all of her books and they've just been sitting on my shelf. So that one's on the list. I also managed to get a $1 copy at the Strand of The Female Eunuch by Jermaine Greer, which has clearly seen better days. Um, I haven't decided yet how chronologically I'm going to do these. At the moment, I had started with Women in Economics by Charlotte Perkins Gilman. Most of you, if you know of her, will know her short story, The Yellow Wallpaper, which you were probably forced to read some point in school, maybe. But this is a work of nonfiction about her feminist beliefs, although not using the word feminism at that time. This goes back to the like late 1800s. There are a couple of things before this, like the um, Vindication of the Rights of Women by Mary Wollstonecraft, the Declaration of Sentiments, and there's something written also by John Stuart Mill's wife. But I just, I don't know how chronological I'll keep it. I'd like to do a series of an anti-feminist reads the feminist canon. And also eventually I'll get to some of the anti-feminist or alternative feminist books. One I had started reading and really want to go back to is The Manipulated Man by Esther Villar. That book is amazing. It was blowing my mind. Another book that I picked up for pretty cheap was this book king warrior magician lover so it's about healthy masculine archetypes as well as the sort of shadow archetypes so you know healthy masculinity versus toxic masculinity something else i'd like to do but i don't know how interesting it would be to people is essentially a female anti-feminist reviewing movies and tv particularly for ones where i can find a feminist rant about why this particular piece of fiction is you know, misogynistic, etc, etc, etc. My husband and I tend to watch at least one movie every week, and usually something that I haven't seen. And I've also been re-watching, you know, some TV shows, just thinking about the times in which they were made, the kinds of storylines that they could have, thinking about this episode of TV or this movie coming out now, and the blog posts that would be written about it, you know, the outrage, the cancel culture, etc, or how you can never even get it greenlit. And usually after we watch a movie, I'll go Google it just to see. I'm sure there's some feminist ranting about this movie, and usually there is. For example, I would love to do a video talking about weird science and how feminists really hate this movie, but that it's actually really a story about the power of the feminine. And I'll probably try to do a couple more videos like the one I did responding to Jordan and Brett about polyamory. A couple ideas I had were falling in and out of love with Jordan Peterson, sort of my journey with discovering Peterson, how my thinking about Peterson has changed over time. Similarly, one on the IDW. And also, I'm trying to get my husband to recover my hard drive from my Mac so I can get all the screenshots I took of all the messages I got from my alternate OkCupid account, and I can discuss that whole experience. And then also maybe answer some of the questions that I got from those guys that there was no way I was ever going to be able to write back to all these guys and like carry on a sort of, you know, pen pal relationship with these like hundreds and hundreds of guys. But it could be an interesting video series to try to answer some of their questions. Something else interesting would be going into OkCupid and showing you guys why it's so difficult to date polyamorously in New York City when you are an anti-feminist libertarian woman. Or also just in general, honestly, like if you're like a straight dude trying to meet women and you're like not a crazy person. If you don't spend a lot of time thinking about how to smash the patriarchy, it's like, 
good luck out there. I thank all of you who are still subscribed to me. I lost one subscriber during this period and you know, that's okay. I understand. But when I saw that I had lost a subscriber, it really affected me. You know, it made me like sad and it made me realize that I really care about this channel and I really care about making content for it. I'm not sure I can explain why, but it is important to me and I really need to find the energy within myself, the creative energy, make the time. Right now I have the time, but you know, I'm not going to be without a job forever. So I'm trying to seize the moment right now. I have the ability to structure my days and to do a lot of scripting, do a lot of reading, do recording so that I can get a head start on content that I can then space out for you. I don't know if it's going to be every two weeks right now or if I can try to get that back up to every week. I can't promise, but I'm really aiming for Wednesday evening having the next Anti-Feminist Diaries episode up. Again, I thank all of you who are still subscribed, for all of you that have commented. I really appreciate it and I'm looking forward to making content again and sharing it with you and reading your comments. So stay tuned.